Hi guys, welcome to Airdrop Sport. So today's tutorial is all about Taiko Testnet and the first thing you want to do is go to chainlist.org and then you are going to add two networks to your MetaMask and that is Grimsvorton and Jolnir. I don't know where they got all these names from. I'll paste the link in the comment section. Next, you go to sepoliafaucet.com and there you are going to claim 0.5 Sepolia ETH. You may have to log in so that you can get 0.5 Sepolia ETH. Paste your wallet address, check the capture box at the bottom and then tap on send me to it to get the test token. We are kind of late to this party because they have done like two previous testnet versions on Taiko but as long as no eligibility for criteria have been dropped by the team behind the project, you cannot say you are late or whatever, you just have to do it so we are still going to do this testnet while it is still on. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to the first bridging website and that is their previous version, Grims Button. The only thing you can do there is to bridge. Every other interaction is no longer accessible. So here is the website. I'm going to switch my browser to desktop mode so that I can bring MetaMask. Okay, so we have MetaMask option and then I'll tap on MetaMask. I'll confirm the connection in my wallet. Then you are going to switch over to the bridge tab and what we want to do here is we want to bridge from Sepolia ETH that you just claimed from Fawcett to Taeko Grimsvorton. So enter the amount of Sepolia ETH you would like to bridge to Grimsvorton. Then tap on bridge. we want to do our interactions on the latest version which is Jolnir so you're going to paste the bridging link for Jolnir you're going to paste it in your search bar don't worry every link I used in this video I will paste them in the comment section as well as the video description for your convenience so here is the Jolnir interface and the first thing you want to do is you are going to force it we are going to claim one testnet token here so you will find faucet on the sidebar menu by your left. 
here is the faucet and we are currently on Sepolia ETH. That is the ne network you should be on while claiming the testnet token. So on Sepolia ETH, you are going to tap on select chain. Oh, I haven't connected my wallet so I will do that first. I will connect my wallet. Choose MetaMask. Okay, so my wallet is connected now and you have to be on Sepolia ETH like I was saying and then you're going to claim some horse token, horse test token. So select horse and then tap on mint. Confirm the minting transaction in your wallet. So meeting successful, now we'll go over to the bridging tab. Go back to the sidebar menu on the website and then select bridge. So the first thing I'll be doing is I'm going to bridge some Sepolia ETH from Sepolia. I'm going to be bridging it over to Jalnir on Taiko. Select your near. Enter the amount of Sepolia ETH that you want to bridge over. So I'll be bridging 0.1 Sepolia ETH to Jalnir Taiko. Confirm the transaction in your wallet. So the bridging transaction has been sent over to the blockchain. Bridging transaction successful. So the next thing I'll be doing is remember we claimed host token earlier. So I'll also be bridging the host token on Sepolia ETH. I'll be bridging it over to Jalnil on Taiko. So I'll choose horse and then I'll enter the amount of horse that I want to bridge over to Taiko. I'll be bridging 25 out of the out of the 50 horse that I minted earlier. But first, before you bridge it, you have to approve the bridge first. So I'm approving it. Confirm your custom spending cap, 25 horse, and then approve it. Now the approval is successful, then I can now bridge the host token on Sepolia ITH to Jarnil Taiko. Confirm the bridging transaction in your wallet. Transaction has been sent over to the blockchain. So if your funds have arrived on, on Jalnir, you can also bridge back to Sepolia ETH. You can check the status of your transactions by going to transaction. So the bridging of ETH that we did earlier is successful while the horse one is still pending. You can decide to claim the one that is still pending manually or you can just leave the system to do its thing if you have the time. Next we are going to be performing some swap on Jalnil so you paste the link to the swap website on your search bar. I will also leave that link in the comment section for your convenience. So connect your wallet and switch over to Jalnil this time. So this time we are going to be performing a swap between Jalnil ETH on Taiko to Horse. So select Horse and select ETH. Then you can decide to swap from ETH to Horse or from Horse to ETH or you can decide to swap between both. But in this tutorial I'll be swapping from Horse to ETH. So remember we bridged uh, 25 Horse from Sepolia ETH over to Taiko earlier. So out of my 25 Horse I'll be swapping 10 to ETH. So approve the swap, indicate your custom spend limit, enter 10, that is the amount of cost that we want to swap to ETH. Then approve. When the approving is done, then tap on swap to complete your swap. Confirm your swap.
add some tokens to liquidity pool. So go to the pool tab. Tap on add liquidity. So we are going to be adding ETH and horse pair to the liquidity pool. So on the other token, select horse. Then enter the amount of horse that you want to add or the amount of ETH and then the equivalent amount of the other token will be added automatically. Then you need to approve first, tap on approve. I am sorry the audio may not be good enough towards the end of this video, it's about to rain on my end so I am rushing through before it starts raining. So the approval is done, then tap on supply. Confirm the supply in your wallet. Tap on confirm and then your transaction has been sent. So the transaction is successful, you've been able to add liquidity pool. If you go to the bottom of your screen, you will see your liquidity pool position here. So that is the end of today's tutorial. I'm sorry I'm rushing because it's about to rain. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me comments in the comment section or join us on Telegram. And if you have found value in any of my content, make sure you subscribe for more so you don't miss out on any important update. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in another tutorial.